Hi, welcome back. Today I'm doing a video, I'm part of a video collaboration, a video hop for the Day of the Dead, Dios de los Muertos, and we're doing a collaboration celebrating our ancestors. So for me, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a recycled mixed media artist. I love repurposing and creating from things that would be normally thrown away. So today I am making an art journal in honor of Dios de los Muertos. And so the focal point of my journal is I'm using recycled packaging. So I save my plastic packaging from just about anything and everything. And so I'm using this to create the center, the center focal point. If you'd like to make along or to try this, I'm gonna just walk you through a few of the steps and it's just super fun and really easy. So you start with your packaging and you cut a piece. You decide, you start with your book, I guess, first. That would be better, a better place to start would be your book. And you decide how big you want the piece to be. Then you cut your packaging accordingly. And I used an X-Acto knife and cut out the center of my book. I'm also gonna add a small medallion in the back of this book as well. Then I took, I found an image I liked on the internet and I drew mine on parchment paper, but you can draw yours on whatever you'd like. And then you're gonna take your plastic packaging and you're gonna tape it down and draw it. And I used Sharpie markers, really super easy. Just take your time. If you make a mistake, you can use a baby wipe or use, uh, if you catch it right away, or use some fingernail polish remover and it'll take it off. And what you end up with is this, made with Sharpie. And then the next step is to do your painting. And the only thing that you need to know when you're working and doing your painting is it's, you're, you're painting in reverse. So you want to, normally you would paint and then add your highlights on top. And when I add your highlights and your detail work first and then paint in reverse, okay? So I'm using Deco Arts, Americana, and really inexpensive Apple Barrel paint by Plaid. And you just start painting. Now you wanna paint on the same side that you've done your, your marker on. Um, I'm using just a fine tipped paintbrush, and I'm also going to use some Q-tips and a makeup sponge. So you just wanna start laying your paint down. Now, depending upon how much coverage you want for your acetate or your, you know, your packaging, you may have to do more than one coat. So what I say is do one coat, let it dry, and you can keep applying. But like I mentioned before, you want to paint you want to paint in reverse because you're going to turn it over and the other side is going to be your what you use. So if you wanted to add details or you wanted to add highlights, you'd add your highlights first and then you'd build up in reverse. So after you've painted your piece and you've let it thoroughly dry and if you wanted to do an opaque background, this is the step I'm in right now. So what you do is I've done mine with a makeup sponge. And you can see there's some areas here that I haven't, I find using this makeup, I haven't finished or completed. I find using a makeup sponge just, it's easy and you can get, you don't have, you don't end up with any um, brush strokes. But you do want to make sure your paint is thoroughly dry before you do this step. Okay. And you also want to make sure that you've covered any parts that you want with color because once you add this white or even any, any sort of paint that you want for your background, you'll see all the little imperfections in the front and I'll turn it over and you'll see. Okay. 
So can you see where I should have, I didn't paint quite enough purple there. Now, if that's the case, you can go back, take your baby wipe or take your, you know, your um, Q-tip and wipe it off and then add more purple if you want. Okay. And then the next step is take it to your book. So I've already cut out my holes with an X-Acto knife. And how I adhered this to the inside of my book is I put a bead of Thick Designer Tacky Glue and I laid it down just like that. And then after I did my Designer Tacky Glue, I put a small piece of tape and then I added this just as a painting paper that I made. Painting paper for the book. Okay. Now, if you wanted to add any closure, this would be when you would do it. If you were going to add poke a hole or add some ribbon, that's when you do it. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. If you're adding another image, um, I, I drew us a really small one that I'm going to add here. You want to go ahead and add thick designer tacky glue, let it dry, then add another layer of glue and then add your paper and then trim. Now what I did add, if you've never altered a book or made a journal, what I added in the center was a piece of Tyvek and you can get those as, if you go to your post office, you can often get used express mail envelopes or if you have a friend that has a business, um, used FedEx envelopes. If you go to FedEx, they'll actually give them to you, uh, the same with the post office, the used ones and cut them up and add them to the spine of your book because it just adds more, it, stability to your spine, especially if you're going to sew in signatures or punch holes like I did with mine. So what I did for this journal was I added some holes to make it like a traveler's notebook. And inside I've just included some white pages to make it a drawing journal. So I hope you enjoyed my project for Dios de los Muertos. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed making it very much. Now, being part of this collaboration, you are so vitally important. So if you go to the description box below, you will see a list of artists. Click on the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. It's a great way to show your support for this great community here on YouTube. I'm gonna thank Ayala Art for sponsoring this collaboration for creative arts collaboration, for being such a wonderful group on Facebook of artists and of really caring individuals supporting art. Wishing you a creative and crafty day. Take care. Aloha.